So, you want to flank on district. Well, today I'm going to show you one possible flank route that's going to get you a ton of multi kills on district. And I'm talking multi kills, that number in the 8s, 7s, 9s, in a span of only like 10 seconds. So let's jump right in. The case study that I'm really considering for this video is Conquest, specifically on 127 v 127, though I'm sure this method could probably work in smaller modes. Now what is assuredly a requirement for this method is that your team holds the C objective. What is also probably a requirement is that the enemy spawn is either facing the topmost entrance to C, or the enemy holds the D objective. Now what this scenario has a great chance of producing on district is a cluster of enemies that occurs right outside the topmost C objective entrance and right in front of kind of these little metal crates. Here's a perfect example from one of my games. You can see on the map that there's a cluster of my teammates right in front of this entrance and what I presume to be then a cluster of enemies right in front of them. So I'm going to let this clip play out as an example, but I've also spectated another example too, another phenomenal example. So as you can see, once I'm able to maneuver on over to our desired location, I'm able to take advantage of enemies that are luckily there. Here's the example from the spectated game. While this isn't a completely identical example, it is a very similar one, and this player takes full advantage of his flank. And now I can understand how some people might be a little frustrated. They might say, well, Teemals, this doesn't really seem like a flank. Um, I'd argue in a game as big as this one, your traditional big roundabout flanks are, are very hard to pull off. And the payoff is really not that big for them. Like, you're going to probably find yourself in a spot where enemies are trickling. And when enemies are trickling, it's really hard to trickle in with them without being spotted by someone behind. Oh. So in my mind, this is a flank, and not only is it a flank, it's a really effective flank. And it's effective for one really good reason, and that's the difference in verticality between yourself and your enemies. See, when there's open space, players are constantly looking in their peripheral, whether conscious or subconsciously, to look for enemies, to look for movement. However, when there's a big, massive wall in front of one side of their peripherals, they just aren't expecting someone to come from the top of this wall. It's not a location that we check as often as say, just our surroundings, our open surroundings. So then what's left to talk about is just the equipment you need to bring to successfully pull off this flank. And for this situation, I highly recommend smokes. I think for the top of that C objective, flashes just aren't gonna reach the enemy as well as smokes will in terms of obscuring their vision. So I'd go ahead and pop a couple smokes, run on over, and make a banger play. If you want more flank strategies for District and for future Battlebot maps, be sure to like and subscribe.